Hey there, either holder fire familia, and welcome to another reaction. This time, I'm going to be reacting to The Dragon Prince Season 4, Episode 4. Now, before I get into watching it, um, I have been told that this episode is pretty big, and there will be something different about the intro, so instead of skipping it, that I need to make sure to watch it, so I'll be doing that this time around. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's see the difference. If I notice anything. At first I thought, wait, we didn't zoom in before, but no, we did. Oh, it's Callum this time. Um. Okay. I, I was thinking of something else, but okay, so Viren has been swapped to Callum. So I'm wondering if that means now, because I know, was it in the previous episode or the episode prior where Viren pretty much is almost like he's completely going back on what he wanted to do? Like he's realized, uh, not the error of his ways, but like he's taking wanting to go a different path now. And I wonder if now that he's done that, Erebos doesn't want him anymore as his pawn, so now he wants Callum. And actually what lends to that is, unfortunately, I was spoiled for this upcoming, the season coming out soon, um, of Erebos standing behind Callum and Callum having, like, dark magic tears or whatever running down his face. And this lends to that, that now Erebos wants Callum as his pawn. Because... Unlike Viren, Viren needed to, like, Viren used dark, ma dark magic to use magic, period. He didn't have a connection to the Arcanum or anything like that, whereas Callum has been able to, so far, do the Sky Arcanum. He's made a connection to it, so he's got a natural connection to it, which would probably be way stronger, which, no, not probably. It is way stronger than what Viren had. So, of course, Erebos would want to sw switch from Viren to Callum. But why would his Erebos want a human, like, pawn anyway? Like, I get it, they're a pawn. But f for what end goal? Get him out of his prison? I'm guessing? Like, maybe because Callum has an natural fitting or like a connection to the arcanum that he'll have an easier time or a better chance of breaking Erebos out I don't know hopefully that's kind of scary um because I, I would have I, I would have thought honestly if anything well no because even Claudia Claudia still uses dark magic to use magic she doesn't have a natural affinity to it or doesn't have a natural connection to um the arcanum so it does make sense, but that's kind of ominous now, but uh, okay. <laughs> through the looking glass. So I'm guessing is Callum going to see Erebos for the first time through the mirror? I'm afraid this can only mean one thing. Viren is alive. The fallen star has returned. I still feel like he could have just easily said Viren's back instead of the fallen stars return even though i i understand what he means i think everyone else knows though i do remember just wasn't sure his name oh i'm glad that the only one who had problems with his name <laughs> thank you rayla well maybe you might know that if you've been here the past two years oh yeah there's good oh please don't let this go on for too long i i, I understand we need to have kind of like a conflict between the two of them but please don't let this get petty or go on for too long because I'm going to get annoyed with I feel like mainly Callum since Rayla is the one that said she wants to talk but Callum said no not right now so I really hope Callum's not going to be immature with this and be like no nah, I still want to talk to you but I'm still going to like be passive aggressive with how I treat you this is a chance to solve our problems together young united people. and we are departing immediately I understand plus she can get there way is faster that Oh, he's been so willful lately. <laughs> willful, you mean stubborn, rebellious, average teenager stuff, whether you're a dragon or a human. <laughs> Zim, <laughs> no, you can hear me. Mother it's voice. Time. He hasn't gone far. I'll find him and bring him back. 
Wow, his gift has really, like, gotten better that he can even tell how far he is. A Farron just sitting, like, in the moonlight, chilling. I would say, like, a villain, but I don't think he is one anymore, really. What magic do you just use for the wings? You know what I would love if Viren rejects the staff and doesn't want it. Uh, why don't you uh, keep it for safekeeping? Why don't you just hold on to it for now? He doesn't want it. At dawn, Poor Terry looks absolutely just Christmas. devastated because he did just kill one of his kind. <laughs> I mean, not exactly his kind, but you know, a variant of elf. More earth, blood, elf. Or, no, you're the Sunfire Elf, right? Because this is your guys' Yeah, you're using Fire Elf. Sword flame burning in the dark. Yep, accent. Fire. Fire! No open flames. The whole camp will catch fire. Will it, though? I mean, if it's under the control of a Sunfire Elf. It's okay. <laughs> Sim sound. He sits on her head. Go with her. Oh. The world needs you right now. This is bigger than Catalus. <laughs> His backpack with all the like things on it. I've been working on something. A new a tart. Kind of jelly tart. Uh, but Blueberry? instead of jelly, it has this mushy brown stuff I invented. Chocolate? I call them brown sludge tarts. I feel like I mean, I know sludge sounds like fudge, but sludge just, I think I could try it, but it still doesn't sound very appetizing compared to like fudge or something. Imagine he called it chudge, like chocolate and fudge. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Are you sure about this? Sure, it's edible. Look at the bait. Oh, you mean Grumpernickel? <laughs> Grumpernickel. Off on another journey, on his own. Very delicious. It's really about to cry. What are you waiting for? I didn't know if you wanted me to come. Ouch. She feels so like. Callum, do you look sad? I hope you do. I hope you feel bad because you're being kind of a jerk. Like, I understand that you're upset over Rayla leaving you and stuff. I understand that being her and everything, but my lord. Need you to come. Climb on up. Also, I just realized. Hold up. I just realized that one of the badges that. Uh, Ezrin has is a jelly tart. <laughs> I thought that was like a triangle symbol, but it's just a jelly tart. And then isn't that the, isn't that the, uh, Ava's wolf? Right? I forgot the name of it. We haven't seen those two characters. I wonder if we're going to see them again. I hope so. Um, we're, but yeah, I wonder if it's like based off of that wolf or something. You to come. Climb on up. Yes, go with Ezrin. Don't go with Callum. He's not letting you stay with him anyway. You get to ride on the small red dragon. Even though I like that dragon too. Soren, I need your help. How are you gonna bring he's it? He's getting his mirror. I'm gonna get my toothbrush. Really? He'll set the whole camp on fire. Is this where we're gonna get conflict between the two parties? Nothing gets to burn through the night. Please, I, I promise. Could he just? Okay, this is where a compromise, couldn't he just take that away from the camp? Like, go, I don't know, have a spiritual, like, uh, a spiritual, like, I don't know, ceremony? Like, right outside of the camp, so it's not in the middle of the camp. Like, compromise here. I stay awake all night until the dawn. No. We can't yep, endanger we everyone's lives because of your superstition. Uh, like, we humans don't have superstitions, too. Come on now. Oh, my God. Yep, we're gonna, this is gonna, okay. And then we're gonna need freaking Anya and Janai to like calm them. We need to bring it with us to the storm spire. Well, gaze upon the falling star. Well, that's Erebos, who's a star touched elf. Star, star touched elf, fallen star. Gaze upon the falling star, falling star returns. Yeah. It can change people. I don't think it's this mirror that changed uh Viren. Like, don't get me wrong, it, it, Erebos did not help, but at the same time, I think Viren was already going down that path. Yeah, how are you gonna lift this thing on your own? <laughs> and he can lift Callum too. Okay. Flexio. 
We almost left B. Look how irritated the dragon's like, what now? <laughs> Little bait. Yeah, I can't forget him. <laughs> bait, you're the best. The scarf. Now he's complete. Okay. Until we uncovered long hidden treachery. Uh, Hundreds of years ago. Is that like a Star Trek dragon? That's a really cool looking one. It's like a fairy butterfly dragon? Before Avazandum was king of the dragons. Oh, you all are cool looking. <gasps> the cool designs for them! They're all ooh, I especially like this red one close up, the green one. The purple one's kinda cool. It reminds me almost like a crane dragon. But I would say my favorite is uh yeah. The yellow and green, the like burgundy purple, and then like the fairy white one. The dragon queen, Luna Tenebris. Of course, her name would be Luna. Yep, okay. Mysteriously died. Luna oh. lacked a suitable heir. And the other oh. arch dragons fought bitterly. Ooh, you're pretty. I hope we get to see them. They're, these guys are cool, the designs. Queen Aditi. Why do I feel like Aditi? You know, so you have the queen dragon, Luna, who disappears or dies suddenly. Why do I feel like Aditi is Janai and Janai's sister's mother who died? And then we know that Erebos whispered to um, Janai's sister or something about their mom. So I wonder if, like, yeah, er I wonder if then if Erebos not only killed Luna, but also killed or trapped or did something to Janai and Janai's sister's mom. Like he basically threw everything out of balance. The arch dragons trusted this wise and They're also cool leader, looking. And agreed to abide. Can I have can I have like can they make like uh you know there's like those uh video game companies, uh not com video game companies, but uh statue companies that make like video game characters or like show characters. Can they do like a like can they do like the dragons from this show cuz they look so cool. But before she could bring peace to the world, she vanished. Aditi went missing. Uh huh. Uh, uh, mm. Came from an unexpected source. Erebus? A young human girl. A dangerous deceiver was revealed. The cube? The cube revealed it? It was secretly Erebus. Whispering. Whispering. Mm hmm. Just like he was doing to Viren. Aw, oh, nah, nah, nah. I saw that sneaky little cutaway where you show him whispering now into Claudia's ear. Uh-uh. So wait, is this gonna be mainly about, okay, so is this season gonna be mainly about like Erevo's whispering into Claudia's ear, but then if Claudia doesn't work out, then he goes to Callum in the, this season six? Season six or season five is coming, I forget. <laughs> Terry's crying. Aw, oh, are we gonna have like father, son-in-law bonding? I'm sorry. Sleeping. She's just perfect. <laughs> Can they even when it's like a really sweet touching moment? It's just like, of course, Claudia's is gonna be freaking drooling. And the fact that she's even sleeping through like Terry's sleep crying. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, remarkable is an understatement. However dangerous, however vile. But. But. Yes. Please, I need to know. You bury it? Just deal <laughs> just deal with it pretty much. <laughs> I don't think you can't get rid of it unless you use magic, I guess. Get a grip. Or that, I guess. Pretty much yeah. He's pulling the get a grip, like get over it pretty much. If you won't put it out, then I'll do it for you. Alright now. Yeah, probably not the most intelligent thing to do to take someone who's grieving over their mother and then technically pull out, put out her spirit flame. Like, not exactly thinking there. What's going on here? He burned me. Uh. Oh hi, Lulu, right? If these leaders were in no, Stella. Sorry. 
Corvos was able to give them something they wanted very badly. In return. Mm -hmm. Corvos, but who had an insatiable thirst and fascination with magic. Erevos could offer them hmm. access. Mages were his prey. So what did you do? Uh, How did you stop him? We, we seal, seal him off. A magical prison was created. Water elf? Meant to hold this villain for eternity. Underwater. Part of it, Abazandum, was given an enchanted looking glass. So he could keep uh... watch on Erevos. Hey, there's someone on the pinnacle. He's dead. He's gone. Well, I mean, yeah, that message was his final breath, which I guess they didn't know. Man, we barely had a quarter of a season with him. <laughs> it all makes sense. In darkness, gaze upon a fallen star. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> Her little... <laughs> God. The spell needs the sun's first light to open the chrysalis. So get ready. What? Viren looks so scared. A little sunlight won't be a problem. Thunderstorm. I was gonna say she is a arc dragon. Um, I am a storm dragon. Hello there. The spell needs the sun's first light. I think somebody's not able to do it. We're almost at the first light. I'll just do it. Are you sure about this? I didn't even know it could do that. Oh. <laughs> I really knows it. You guys be quiet. I need to do the spell. Yes, ma'am. And this is why Eros is going to want her after Viren. You can't do anything to me. He's in a mirror. Ah. Uh, I think he took over his body. That's not scary at all. Oh, okay. He's like a puppet. Oh, it's like that opening. So you just speak through him? He did not actually plan this, right? Having Callum and them there while they're doing this with the chrysalis. Right? I'm curious on what this thing's gonna look like if it does hatch. So this is how he's gonna talk? Before he spoke right through the mirror, so interesting. He's having to speak through count. and tragic passing. <laughs> Whose father wishes he had never been born. Ouch. <laughs> oh, babe putting his paw on Soren's foot. And destined to play right into my hands. Oh. My time has come. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My return to this world is inevitable. Ew. I swear to God, if this is actually Erevos. Ew. Hello? Ah, uh, he did not do that. <laughs> you little. Oh. Oh. Can't keep an eye on him anymore. <laughs> okay. Who are you? You don't look familiar at all. I can't tell if that pointy bit at the back is just part of the hood or if that's a horn. I don't think it is a horn, so a mage maybe? But you also have like keys on your... Who could you be? You're new. I knew it was chocolate. He literally, what, what did the baker do? Literally take like a bar of chocolate, melt it and put it into its, into its heart. Also the Catalis uh, brand chocolate. I wonder if they actually sold that, that'd be kind of funny. The shattered mirror. 
Oh, we could be sleeping on. Is that a scarf? Is that Calm's scarf he's like sleeping in? I think it is. I'll bait with his favorite bread or grandma. I forgot what it was called. Also, is it just me or does the bread look like it has like two X eyes and then like a frowny face, which is perfect for bait because he always looks grumpy for the most part. Wow, that's the last image images. Erevo's using Calm as a puppet. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right, well, uh, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts then. <laughs> All righty. Well, that was quite the revelation episode. Uh, finally got back to and what exactly Erevo's did and what happened with that and what got why he was sealed away or locked away. Um... And now he's revealed more of his, not plans, but like, kind of, I mean, yeah, he kind of revealed more of his plans that he, so he does have intentions with Callum that he'll be like, a uh, main pawn in whatever his plans are, which I still don't understand what his plans are. Like, why do you need a human mage? Like, I know he, before he was like, taking down like, major, uh, like, pillars of the world, like, um, Luna and... Uh, I'm guessing is Janai and Janai's sister's mother, um, and stuff, so he, he definitely was, like, trying to throw things out of balance or create chaos and stuff, but, like, to what goal? Like, what end goal? Like, why? Like, how'd he go from, like, okay, he was someone loved and, like, loved and everything. Is it power? Did he want just more power? Did he, did he get corrupted by, like, did he get corrupted by, um... Uh, by dark magic or something? Was it something else? <sighs> I'm not really sure. I want to know. I want to know more of Erebos. Like, I know this season is Mystery of Erebos, so we're going to obviously probably find out more. Unless this was it, and then from here on, like, for the rest of the season, which we're on episode four. I think there's nine in this season, so... Or... Pretty much halfway through, so I'm curious if it's going to end off with them getting to his prison and stuff. And then season five is like... I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. Um, but yeah, overall, a uh, great episode. Uh, characters were great. Animation was good. I, you know, I honestly, like, part of me, like, finds the animation, like, I know that, like, some of you have said that the animation is different. It, it, it feels like it is different in some way, but I can't put my finger on it. It doesn't feel like the low frame rate of, like, season one or anything like that. But, I don't know if it's the shading or something. It feels a little bit different. Not, like, enough where I'm, like, Ooh, you know, why is it different? But it's like, it's a little bit where I'm like, it's changed or is it not? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, like the only time I noticed was the previous episode was the uh, lip syncing, but that may have also been, I'm not sure if that was my video file or not, uh, or if it was just the episode, because uh, it seemed like lip syncing was fine in this episode, so maybe it was just an error. I have no idea. Uh, but anime show, I say it's good. I, I, uh, it's weird because I almost want to say it's not, like it's good. Is it maybe the backgrounds? I feel like the, mm, you know, I feel like my favorite part of the animation for this episode was the, like, the lore on Erebos and all that. Like, I love the artwork for that. I love the designs of all the dragons and everything. And the, even the look of Erebos himself, like, in that uh, painting style looked very pretty. I kind of almost really wish the series was 2D instead of 2D slash 3D. Like, I, I really wish. I know it's probably it was for them to save money and stuff and everything, but I really wish the series was in 2D like Avatar was. Um, the last Airbender, not Avatar the movies. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I'll just say the animation was good. Music, there were some parts that I really liked. Um, but yeah, overall a great episode. Got to see backstory and everything. I'm looking forward to see what happens next. Uh, What's happened with Callum now that he's kind of unconscious? Hopefully it's just unconscious and now that something's going on and with the dark magic in his head and stuff again. But anyway, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoy this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, afternight, and keep running bright. See ya!